my channel versus sunshine it's Ashley today we're gonna be making a wood project because I've not done one in forever and I'm celebrating that it is officially spring so today I'm gonna be doing for spring a little spring flowery birdhouse because why not so today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this wood cut out of a birdhouse let's do this starting with the template of a birdhouse you can find it in the description below my blog we're gonna put this out on a piece of wood and trace it out with a pencil you can make the wood as thick as you want. I think mine's about three fourths of an inch. And now I'm going to clamp this down and use some protective glasses, hearing protection gloves, and my jigsaw. I'm just gonna cut this out. Again, if you are a child, please get an adult to do this because it is very dangerous. Saws are dangerous, we all know this. They have blades, they're sharp, you can cut off a finger. Come on now guys, it could get bad. So just get an adult. We sanded it down and we are gonna get ready to paint paper plate, some masking tape or painter's tape, my paint and my paint brushes. First I'm going to start off by taking my painter's tape and I'm just going to tape off where I want the trim, like I'm going to tape off the inner part so that way I can paint the trim without um, a leakage of paint and it'll give just a perfectly straight line. So once I get that ready to go, I'm going to tape off the bottom because of course I want the bottom trim to match the top. And it's going to give it that cute little birdhouse look, but you can do this however you want. You can decorate your birdhouse however you want. This is just the kind of color scheme I was going with. And I decided to go with a baby blue, like a sky blue, and a light pink because it's a very springy look to me. Once I get that done, I decided I'm going to make the main part pink because this is a big, big, girly, dainty birdhouse okay so I'm gonna just squirt some pink paint on there and just spread it around I actually should have removed the tape before this but I forgot so I'm removing the tape and I'm going to replace tape over the blue at the edge of where the blue line ends otherwise there'd be a big wooden gap in between the blue and the pink so I'm just gonna retape on top of the blue all the way to the edge of the blue line and now I'm gonna finish my pink painting <laughs> Of course, make sure your blue paint is completely dry before you stick tape on it or, you know, it's not going to stick and it's just, it's going to be a hot mess. So, make sure it dries between taping. Now that the paint is completely dry, I'm going to take my quote, some painter's tape, a heart-shaped cookie cutter, an ink pen, and a pair of scissors. First, I'm going to cut out my quote and place it where I want it put it down with some painter's tape or masking tape whatever you want to use and I'm gonna use this heart shaped cookie cutter to give me a little heart and the heart is gonna represent like the little hole a bird goes in to get into his birdhouse this little bird door and it's gonna be a heart just because I thought it would be cute so now using the same technique I always use take a pen and indent into your words tracing over them and then go over it again with paint once you have it indented into the wood you can see me doing this with just a painter's pen but you can make whatever quote you want this seems like kind of an odd one two old crows live here but this this was for my aunt and that's just something she always says so now after I have it painted in I'm gonna take some black paint and I'm just gonna fill it in it's a lot easier to fill it in with a paintbrush and paint than with the painters pen I would be there all day with the painters pen so I just filled this in on all of the words and I also filled in the heart which I forgot to record and I forgot to record me painting all of the flowers guys I painted a bunch of flowers with the paint pen I drew it out and then just painted it in different colors if you plan to hang it outside I would suggest spraying it with some Mod Podge because or some kind of sealant so that way nothing like causes your paint to chip I'm gonna put on a little hook on the top tie it up with some ribbon and it is ready to go Alright guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Be careful cutting. Bye!